Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up a clean install of Fusion 360 with the changes that I normally make on mine. So I have this which is just a empty file and that is what you get as soon as you log into Fusion 360 after installing it. And I'm going to run through a handful of things. The first thing isn't something that you have to change, but it's something that I use a lot, so I'm including it in this, which is the S key, that whenever you hit the S key, it brings up the shortcuts menu. And you'll notice this says design shortcuts. There's also a like sketch shortcuts, and the different spaces have different shortcuts. So in the design shortcuts menu, we have extrude and revolve right now. And we also have this search functionality. And you can see that as soon as I hit S, the cursor so if I wanted to look up fill it then it's right here so I'm gonna put a handful of other commands into this I'm gonna put fill it chamfer circular pattern mirror Combine and 3D print all into this. So these are a handful of the commands that I use really, really often. So by having them here, instead of having to find stuff up in this menu or trying to find stuff elsewhere, all I have to do is go here and click on the little button. Regarding where these are in the menus, um, Extrude and Revolve come from the Create menu, Fillet and Chamfer come from the Modify menu, as well as Combine and Circular Pattern, or actually Circular Pattern's over um, under Pattern in the Create menu. And then the 3D Print functionality comes from the Tools section. So the next thing that I'm going to bring up is the Parameter. So I use parameters in a lot of my designs, so I'm just going to click on this right now and bring it onto the screen. So you can see parameters, there's model parameters and user parameters. Model parameters are anything that's created as you model. So when you make your first sketch and add a line and you dimension that line to be 20 millimeters long, that actually shows up as D1 in the model parameters. And then if you make that line at a certain angle, that is D2 and so on and so forth through for every single dimension that you make. Then there are user parameters, which I can add something that's like height. And then I can choose the units that I want it to be in, and I'm going to make this 10 millimeters. And you can have as many user parameters as you want. You can also favorite user, user parameters, which promotes them up into this space. And I'll have a later video about deriving, but you can take any favorited parameters and you can put those into other files. So if you want files to be connected, you can connect them using this functionality. So back to the parameter command here. Or actually, we have to find it up in the modify space. Um, you'll see these three little dots next to it. And I'm going to change the keyboard shortcut on it and I'm going to set it to P. And this conflicts with project, but I very rarely use project and I use parameter all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace project with change parameter. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into sketch so that I can create my sketch shortcuts. So once again, to bring up the shortcuts, you hit S and then I'm going, we have line and rectangle here. I'm gonna add center diameter circle the three-point arc and then the point which I already had there and if you wanted to remove something from here you can just come down and you'll now see that there's an X here and you can click that X in order to remove it so I can finish sketch and now I'm going to come up to preferences and Make sure that Z is up. In the past, Y was up, and then Fusion changed it so that the default is Z is up. But this can cause problems as you export to 3D printing software. 
that most of them assume Z will be up, so all your parts will be oriented the wrong way. But yeah, so Z, Z up is the default. Um, rotation, I prefer fusion rotation, but if you're more used to one of the other rotation, or one of these other CAD software, then you can change the rotation style, and you can also change the orbit style. But we're gonna come over to design and auto hide sketch on feature creation. I don't like that because a lot of time I have multiple things in my sketches. So this means that sketches will stay visible after they are created. And you'll be able to find all your sketches and as you make bodies or other additional features, all of that will show up over here in the browser, which is toggled there. So that is everything that I had for this video. And I hope that helps you out. Have a great day.